Hi. In this video, you will learn how to create a cotton fill map of a surface, create cotton fill lines, and how to use these lines by marking them in the field. In this example, we are leveling the material on a field. We use the cut fill map from volumes calculation to see where there is too much or too little material and where the field is on grade. We start from the home menu and make sure that we have chosen the correct project and job. We tap on volumes. On the map, we see a surface based on the surveyed field. For further information about how to create a surface, please watch the video How to Create Surfaces and Calculate Volumes. We open the toolbox and tap on Calculate Volume. Then Stockpile. Please notice the calculated balance site elevation shown here. If we even out all the material to this elevation, we will not need to add or remove material from the area. We tap on the cut fill button in the bottom bar to enable the cut fill function and finally tap on OK. A new map view shows the surface. The three colors tell us what we need to do. We must cut material from the red areas, place it in the blue areas and skip the green areas because they are already on grade according to the current tolerance setting. In the bottom right corner, we see the current tolerance setting is 20 centimeters. This value comes from the volume calculation. Let's say that this example job aims for a smoother surface, so the tolerance is 5 centimeters. What happens when we set the tolerance to that? We enter 0.05 in the input field and see that the green band between cut and fill has become smaller. The tighter tolerance results in a smaller area being on grade. In this context, being on grade means that the green area is already within the defined tolerance of the balanced site elevation value. Let's have a look at the information bar. In the first page, we see the relative maximal cut and fill values and the tolerance value we entered. Again, these cut and fill values are relative to the calculated balanced site elevation value. We tap on the arrow to switch to the second page. It shows the percentage of the surface areas for cut, fill and how much is on grade. In this exercise, the surface has about 43% to cut, 18% on grade and 38% to fill. From the toolbar, we tap on the Cut and Fill Lines button. Cut and Fill Lines are now showing the boundaries of the cut, fill and on grade areas. We will get back to these lines in a few moments. We tap on OK and come to the Save As screen. Here we keep the suggested name for the volume calculation package and tick the checkbox to include the cut fill surface. Then name the surface Field Cut Fill Map and tap on OK to save it. The map is showing the new surface and because this is the only active surface, it is already selected. We may want to change what to display, so we tap on the Map View Manager, then tap on the XML file Field Cut Fill Map to see the sublayers. Now we can toggle the visibility of the cut fill lines, the surface and the cut fill map. We tap on OK to close the Map View Manager. To make it easier for the operator to see where to start moving material, we can place stakes in the ground along the lines between on grade and cut. To do so, we would access the app Stake Out and select the cut fill line between cut and on grade. Every few meters along this line, we would store a point and place a stake. If you want to see how that is done, we recommend our video How to Stake Out Lines and Arcs. That's it. You have learned how to create a cut fill map, create cut fill lines, and how to use these lines by marking them in the field. Thanks for watching.